Welcome to the OLV Daily Reflection for Monday, August 17th. Today's Gospel reading comes to us from the 19th chapter of St. Matthew's Gospel. It reads as follows. Teacher, what good must I do to gain eternal life? Jesus answered him, Why do you ask me about the good? There is only one who is good. If you wish to enter into life, keep the commandments. He asked him which ones. And Jesus replied, You shall not kill. You shall not commit adultery. You shall not steal. You shall not bear false witness. Honor your father and mother, and you shall love your neighbor as yourself. The young man said to him, All of these I have observed. What do I still lack? Jesus said to him, If you wish to be perfect, go sell what you have and give to the poor and you will have treasure in heaven. Then come, follow me. When the young man heard this statement, he went away sad, for he had many possessions. If a person wanted to sum up this encounter in a concise way, it could be said that the rich man was not able to say yes to the offer given by Jesus at that point in his life. Because we never hear later on in the Gospels whether this young man eventually did heed the invitation of Jesus and become a disciple. This is definitely a possibility. Deep and profound conversions do happen. And they're more common than what people think because these conversions are not always made public. However, this young man could not immediately follow Jesus at this point in his life because the cost in his mind was too high. This man could not say no to the other things in his life, meaning he could not sever the attachments and relationships he had in his rich life. He was defined by his possessions instead of his possessions truly being just a part of his life. If he could say yes to Jesus Christ at that point in his life, he would have been blessed by the sacrifices he would have made. But again, I don't think any of us should judge this rich young man too harshly because I don't know about you, but I've wondered as I prayed with this passage, would I have made the same decision as this rich young man if personally invited by Jesus in the same way he was? Without a doubt, as I mentioned, I can see myself in the rich young man, especially the challenge in my soul that arises when I realize that following Jesus means that I have to make sacrifices. The rich man, for whatever reason, could not make the sacrifices at this time. So again, the challenge that he faced is the challenge that all of us face. Am I willing to make all of the necessary sacrifices to follow Jesus Christ in my life? The good news is, though, brothers and sisters, that again, this rich young man could have made a different choice. And we can make different choices. If we look back upon our life and realize that we've made wrong choices, guess what? We can change that. We can make better choices. We can move in the right direction. The challenge is, is that all of us have to pray how we can best respond to God's invitation to follow him in our lives. And again, if we made the wrong choice in the past, Maybe this is now the right time to make a different choice. Have a blessed week, everyone. Our Lady of Victory, pray for us.